week's show. I've got someone who's been in the news quite a bit this week, as we've written about on Go Local. Ronello Amanti with Latino Public Radio, thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much. To tell the story of what is taking place right now, along with Rhode Island Public Radio, looking to take the signal out from underneath you, and when you found out this was going to happen, you're basically battling for your life here, for the existence of Latino Public Radio, with Rhode Island Public Radio saying, well, we're gonna look to sell a, take the signal back. So talk with us when you knew that, that this was in peril, that, oh my gosh, they, they could actually do this. <laughs> well, by December 7th, we figured out that this can happen. Um, we approached them to start all over the negotiation and into today, I'm still waiting for an answer. So when technically could you go off the air? Saturday at midnight. And what have you been hearing from folks in the community about this happening? It's a lot of people angry in the community because they're going to lose a station to give them the news, uh, educational program. And so talk with us, back up a little bit more. Go back all the way to the beginning. You're now, you're wearing all the hats. You're president, you're CEO, you're general manager. Because this used to be a, a, a more group effort, if you will, to get this and said, this is why the community need this. So talk with us about the beginnings of your involvement with Latino Public Radio. The station was starting in 1996. We, Wheeler School, was 88.1 FM. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought into the radio a lot of community leaders and it started growing over the year because the quality of the programming they will put them on. And talk with us the then switch to 1290. Well about six years ago uh, Rhode Island Public Radio need to be in the FM dial because uh, public radio typically is on the left hand side of the dial and uh, it was a three-way partnership to do the switching um, we're supposed to be collaborating and working together. Uh, never happened for six years, but I mean, they do the English part of the, they do the English version, I do the Latino version of the radio. And now, after six years, they decided that, yeah, you guys can purchase the radio. We agree to a price, and everything fell through in December. So, talk with me. There's some $40,000 here that the down payment was made, but what's happened? You've, you've made the effort to be able to put a down payment to make this well, still the, viable. The station had to put a down payment to uh, buy the frequency. They were selling it to us for $400,000, and they got $40,000 in down payment. Okay, so if you've made the down payment, again, why is Saturday still looming? No, no, the down payment was to purchase the yes. radio station, <laughs> not to pay for anything or to purchase the radio. So to purchase a station, but walk back again the six years, because this is one of the things you talked with Go Local about. You said it was supposed to be a partnership, that they were supposed to be working together with Rhode Island. Some collaboration, yes, uh, between the two organizations, let's say some community programs, some local news, if they cover some event, maybe we can share information. That never happened. Did you, I mean, did you want to see that happen? Did you try to make that happen? Well, it's up to them. They want to make it happen. I mean, we were doing the best that we can with the kind of stuff that we had, I mean, a small radio. Oh, we covered every news around the whole state. Oh, I see you out all the time. If yes. I'm in the press corps, you're in the press corps. You oh, are yeah. there. So how much of a void would this leave, again, to have this simply go off the air? Well, it's going to be a loss for the Latino community because it's the only news radio station that provides all the information. I mean, we had three other stations in the market, they were commercial, but for news and information, Latino Public Radio is the place for the Latino to go and enjoy and listen to the news. And so you've now gone to elected officials. You brought the story to go local, You've approached the governor's office, approached the attorney general's office, and specifically with the AG, that there's something in place that a nonprofit can't be sold to a commercial entity. Uh, so. Well, a nonprofit <laughs> radio station, yeah. radio station. Yes, and specifically. The, yep, and the good thing about it is I didn't start that. <laughs> Rhode Island Public Radio did it to defend itself from Boston University, 
We call Boston University when they sell the station. Patrick Lynch, the Attorney General, intervened, and the, the state legislature passed the law in 2005, giving the authority to the Attorney General to approve the sale of public radio. Um, they use it. Now I'm going to use it, and they're getting mad at me. They don't want me to go to the Attorney General. Sorry, I mean, the law is there. You have to sell it to a local public radio. We are the only one. It's nobody else. <laughs> There's so, nobody else to say. Nobody else. Is this, in your opinion, just a, a money play, a, a money grab? I think it's a money grab in the power because I asked them, give me the 10 year opportunity. It's mm -hmm. $400,000. You divide it by 10 years, it will make the radio sustainable. But when they held out from me, they become radio silence. Complete, not calling me back, not responding to my email. Every time I ask for Tari, oh, he's in a meeting, he's out, he will call you back. Even last week, when the news broke, I called, oh, he's not here, he's not around, he's traveling. But he was talking to the other reporter, not to me. I mean, and they so don't want to talk to me. Again, $400,000, and I mean, you went back to, you know, the days that we were, but it's 2018. The Latino co community in the state has, has grown to such a degree. I mean, when you go to the AG and you go to the governor, I mean, how... Can you say, these are your constituents. <laughs> That's right. But they have to be worried because it's an election year and it's a voice that all the politicians use. Every, even the police department, every, every organization and they say, go to Latino Public Radio to send information out. And they know the importance of the radio station for the community. It's something that the community is worried about it because if we lose Latino Public Radio, we're gonna lose something being in this community. So, Ronaldo, what are the next steps? Well, the next step is, is asking Rhode Island Public Radio because they say I never approached them. I'm here, and you guys have my phone number, <laughs> or you can call, call local crowd, <laughs> or you can call the attorney general, we schedule a meeting. The deal is we give you the $400,000, 10 year, the same opportunity that you have with Boston University to pay for your station 10 years. I mean, what's wrong with that? I mean. I don't see nothing wrong. <laughs> Sit down and let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So as you said, you like to be behind the camera, but here you are in front <laughs> making the case again, $400,000 to be able to get the station Saturday midnight. I mean, that's a short time frame. And frame, but if they're willing to give something to the community, they can say, Renato, let's make the agreement. 10 years is 40000 plus every year. And you have the station, the same way you had the station from Boston University. I mean, how the Latino community? Don't be hiding behind that word, call me. I've been asking for a meeting for the last four months, and the, you guys don't reply to me. Well, you've reached out to elected officials, reached out to the AG's office. We're here on Wednesday. We're going to continue to write this story, report on it. But, Ronaldo, I appreciate you taking the Thank time to much. come in and talk about it, because I know you've got reporting to do. Yes. <laughs> I'll let you go around the corner and we'll welcome our next guest here into the Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center. I want to just thank again Arnaldo Almonte for coming in from Latino Public Radio. Again, this is looking at Saturday to potentially for Latino Public Radio to go off the air. He's making his plea to Rhode Island Public Radio with whom they have the arrangement for the station. $400,000 over 10 years. He is going again to the AG's office because, as he mentioned, law was put into place to help public radio to have a nonprofit not be sold to a corporate or pro for a profit entity. We're going to continue to follow this here at Go Local. But don't go anywhere. We've got a very important story. You might have seen a little bit of controversy over the Rosa Parks house. We have the artist and her niece here in the studio. Don't go anywhere.